all to watch the video of network addressing. So in network addressing, here we are going to define network address, broadcast address and a valid host range for the given IP address. Here we are given with 6 IP address, we should find out the network address, broadcast address and the valid host range for all the IPs. 192.168.100.25 slash 30 here the slash 30 that represents the subnet masking so subnet masking means it helps to identify the network id and the host id okay so first we should take the subdivision a first calculate the subnet mask so how to calculate the subnet mask you can take this slash 30 which means in a 32 bit range for the first 30 bits we should given them as ones and remaining as zeros okay so likewise we should calculate that so 255.255.255 and for the last case we are getting 252 okay so consecutively we are having 30 ones and the last two only zeros so we split them into four octets so the, for the first octet we are getting 255 second octet 255 third octet 255 and for the last one 252 so this is how a subnet mask can be calculated okay so then the block size the block size can be identified by 256 minus this subnet mask value so the answer is 4 okay then network address so for every network addressing we are using a method the nearest multiple of 4 so from where this number 4 coming is from the block size if the block size is 4 means we should take the nearest multiple of 4 below this value, the value that is given here. Okay, so below this value means find out it is 25. So it should be a multiple of 4, but it should be below 25. So we should identify as 24. So this 192.168.100.24 is the network address. Then broadcast address. So broadcast address can be find by network address plus block size minus 1 okay so broadcast address can be identified by network address plus block size minus 1 so it is that 24 plus 4 minus 1 that is this 27 so this is how broadcast address can be identified then valid host range of this IP so it can be find out by adding one value to the network address so here we find the network address as 25 so add one means it will become 25 and then subtract one from the broadcast address so the broadcast address is 27 so if we subtract means it will become 26 okay so adding one to the network address and then subtracting one from the broadcast address so in a similar way for all the ips should be identified so here it is a summary table of all the values so here you can see this is the given IP mask. So the subnet mask has been found. Then the block size is identified as 4, network address, broadcast address and the valid host range. And in a similar way you can see that a subdivision B. So this is the IP address 192.168.100.37 slash 28. So it has been taken here how to identify the subnet mask for this value. Okay, so consecutively 28 ones and then remaining 4 zeros. So for that the subnet mask has been identified as 255.255.245.240. Okay, so because we substituted the 4 zeros for the last article, so that's why we are getting 240. So then block size. So block size can be found by 256 minus this 240. So the answer is 16. Okay, then network address. So how the network address can be identified? So with the nearest multiple of this 16 but it should be below this 37 okay so the multiples of 16 is 16 32 then 48 but it should not exceed 37 so we should choose the network address as 32 okay then how we are going to call with the broadcast address so broadcast address can be find by network address plus block size minus 1 so here it is 32 plus 16 minus 1 so it is 47 okay then finally the value host range so how the host range can be identified host range can be identified by adding a value of 
one to network network address one and subtracting one from broadcast address. So here it is 32. So adding one means it becomes 33. Okay. Then here it is 47. So subtracting one it becomes 46. Okay. Like in a similar way, all the subdivision has been identified. So this is how a network address then the broadcast address and the host range can be identified successfully. Okay. So if you want to identify the first and the last address of a network means, so based on the consecutive values we can obtain. So how to calculate the first and the last IP address when an IP is given. So here the given IP address is 205.16.37.39. So, the slash 28 that represents the CADR, certain mask. For this, we need to find out the first and the last IP address. So, represent them in a binary form first. So, represent the 205, 16, 37 and 39 in a binary form. Okay. So, this is the binary representation of 205, this is 16 and this is 37 and this is 39. Okay. So, after representing them in a binary form, then we should find the first IP address by setting the 32 minus 28 rightmost bits to 0. So why we are choosing this 32 means for a IP version 4 the maximum width is 32. So we are choosing 32 minus 28. So this 28 that comes from this slash that 28 value that CIDR value. Okay. So by making it means the rightmost bits that becomes 0. Okay. So then Last address can be identified by setting this 32 minus 28 rightmost bits to 1. By making the rightmost bits all the values to 1 means we obtain the last IP address. So here the first IP is 205.16.37.32. After making them into 0, the last 4 bits, then the last IP is identified as 205.16.37.47. So this is how we identify the IP address in a network.